Like a lot of Hobonichi fans, I was quite curious to find out if the Hobonichi Weeks would fit in a standard MTM. And the short answer is yes, but it's quite a bit smaller. So if you're one of those fussy people who has to have all their books lining up at the edge, you're probably not going to like it. But uh, for me, it's pretty much what I expected and I'm actually quite pleased with it. I like it. So I'm not using my MTN at the moment because it's obviously one book July, but it is set up and ready to go for August. And here is the Hobonichi Weeks that I chose. Uh, this is the craft folder. And you can see there, if I push it up level with the craft folder, you can see it is just about an inch shorter and thinner than a Midori. That doesn't bother me at all because I've put it in the middle and it's always annoyed me that my middle book stuck out so now it doesn't and my pens flip, fit into the slot so I'm quite happy with that, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, a tip, if you put it on the longer elastic on your Midori it will slide up and down and it will get really annoying. If you put it on the shorter of the two elastics it's pretty much the perfect size and I've just put it through on the front cover so that I can easily slide it in and out without damaging any of the paper in the Hobonichi because obviously Hobonichi paper is very very thin it's like the um, refill 013 for the um, Midori it's extremely thin paper it's almost like bible paper so that is my Hobonichi Weeks now there's some confusion on the website um, it, it doesn't explain that they are books. You choose the cover that you want and the weeks is automatically in it. It's basically a book diary. It's not like the Hobonichi Teicho where you get the book and then you get a cover separately. This You can get wallet covers for these, but they're proper fold over wallet type covers. They're not, um, they're not slip on covers. So let's have a look inside. Uh, the front piece is some very nice paper with hobo written all over it. And it, it's lovely paper. It feels really, it's almost like watercolour paper actually. It feels really lovely. The first part is the same as the Hobonichi Take Show. I got the week's version. So it runs from spring, April to March because I'm going to use this for a specific purpose and that purpose it's okay if I use it from April till March I'm going to backtrack and fill in some information so you've got your 2014 and 2015 calendars and special holidays you have your 2014 and 2015 uh, months vertical months very very tiny uh, obviously if you if you write in Japanese kanji you don't need as much space on your page as you do if you write in English um, and that's very apparent here but these symbols here are the days of the week and Sundays are in orange as always you've got the week numbers up at the top and then you start with the month on one page which is basically the same as the techo except it's um, different size squares obviously and your four important priority things are down here you've also got a column here for I presume you could use that for birthdays or something if you wanted to the weeks is in Japanese however as you can see there is some English in it so you can see that you've got the the days of the week, you've got the month there, which I believe is similar to the cousin. I think the cousin has some English in it as well, but it's mostly in Japanese. So you've got that right the way through till March 2015. And then you've also got April 2015 for forward planning. Then you come on to the week and it's the same format as a Moleskine weekly diary. It's one week on a page with notes. 
you have uh, priorities, priority notes down here. And this page is divided, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's divided into a quarter and three quarters, which is handy if you like to do bullet journaling or something like that. Uh, and basically that is most of the book that, you know, most of the book comes in this format. You also have two dots across here, which means you could mark this off into periods. So if you're, if you're one of the Erin Condren people who likes the morning, afternoon, evening format, then you could do that easily. You could just rule it. You've got your moon phases as well. Again, there are marks on the edge of the pages to show you where the months are, but they're not numbered like they are in the in the tape show. They're just they're just there. And they seem to all be different sizes. I don't quite know why that is or why it would be, but maybe there's some kind of code to it, but they all seem to be like that one is very thin compared to that one. Maybe it's just the way the paper's cut and printed, I don't know, but it's it's a little bit odd. So that goes right the way through to December, and then you start in January and go through to March. And, oh, because I was curious, I asked about the quotes. Were the quotes in the English version the same as in the um, Japanese version? And was that the same as in the weeks version and the spring version? And the answer is yes. The English version quotes are in a different order, but they are the same quotes as in the Japanese one. And the spring one, where you start with the 1st of March back here, uh, it does have the same quotes at the bottom. And if you get a spring version, it runs from March to December and then it starts back at January again. So. There you go. All the quotes are the same, but in the English version, they're in a different order. Now, the thing that surprised me about this, especially considering the size of the book, I mean, it's it's comparable with the size of the Midori Lightweight, which is there. And you see, it's not much thicker. So it surprised me enormously to get here and find that all of this is note paper. Um, surprised and very pleased actually because I love the note paper. It's my dog having a scratch, sorry. I love the note. Scooby! Hey, hey, hey! Are you done? Thank you. I love the note paper in the refill for the 013 Midori and this is very very similar and it's grid so and it's all got this one bar on it so you could use this for just about anything and then you've got all this stuff at the back and i haven't sat down to translate any of it yet to work out exactly what any of it is but you do have things like um i believe this is how old you are according to what year you were born or something like that so I'm just flipping through this just to show you what's in here oh that's international dialing codes just flipping through to show you what's going on I'm sorry if you can hear noise in the background that's my new neighbours that's what it's like all the time and it's half past 11 and it's like that all evening it's fun so yeah I don't know what any of this is I haven't been through it and then you've got an address section at the back and your personal info section. So there you go, that's the a quick look at the weeks. It is the same paper as the Hobonichi and the Cousin, so you know, no worries there. If you're if you're used to the paper then it's the same and if you're not used to the paper it's, you're not getting anything different. 
Um, it's very, very thin, but it works fine. And, oh, two bookmarks again. Those are part of the book. Two different colours instead of two different ends like you get on the covers, cases. And just to show you again, I've been putting mine under the small elastic. So you've got the main elastic that you would normally use. And this is the small one at the, bot at the bottom. And I just slide it over there like that. Uh, and that holds it in the middle without it flopping around all over the place. And you can see there is quite a gap. But again, my pens fit down in that gap, so I'm quite happy with that. There's a gap at the top as well, but that means you can use tabs at the top and bottom of your diary, which I like to do. And speaking of which, just while I'm here talking about tabs, um, my Hobonichi Techo, I've been using the Girl of All Work tabs on the Techo, you can see here, and those fit inside the cases at both the top and the bottom. So for those who were asking if they stuck out of the cases as well as the book, no they don't. You can use top and bottom tabs quite easily and they fit really nicely and they're protected. You can't put tabs, <coughs> excuse me, you can't put tabs on the sides if you intend to use the pen loops because this butterfly clasp just doesn't allow for any space for side tabs. I actually use the paper tabs on mine so it doesn't matter if they get bashed about or dog-eared and they don't get in the way of the pens. However on this one you could actually use end tabs because you can see there is, oh it's easier to see that side, there is quite a big gap between the edge of the book, other books and the Hope Pinchy Diary. So there you go, there's a very quick look at it. I will come back and show you how I'm using it when I start using it in August. And uh, in the meantime, One Book July, I'll be doing an update on that this weekend.